before we begin. This is like the worst part for me. I hate doing this part right here. I get so nervous. Uh, I would like to let you know that we have the exits, which are in the front and the rear. Even though you can't see it, it's way back there and the way beyond Narnia. Uh, so the exits are front and the rear. Also, I'm going to give you a few seconds. Please, turn off your cellular devices. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to turn off your cellular devices. We had one person yesterday that le re uh, leaned over and go, oh, that's not turning it off, that's lowering it, right? I thought it was pretty cool, right? <laughs> Another thing I'd like to announce is our spring programs that start March 25th. We have spring programs that start March, 20 that start March 25th. They are in, they're in your Playbill or they're on the website. They're in your Playbill or, on the, or they're on the website. So check those out if you want your kids to come in here and do more shows and actually to, to, to participate in certain classes. Check those out, right? We have tons of them going on year round, all right? Uh, there will be, a last, yesterday I totally forgot to mention this, so I'm gonna mention this now. There's gonna be a 15 minute intermission, okay? So that'll give you a chance to use the restroom, we have concessions, you can do all those things, and then come back here and we can finish up the play, right? These kids are super, super nervous today. The first couple of days, they've been like, yeah, let's go. Today, they're just kind of nervous. So as much support as you can give. Clap, clap when you don't have to clap. Laugh when you don't have to laugh. Cry when you don't have to cry. Do all of that, right? Because they all just need your support. They really want to refresh you today. So they just want to make you all happy. So make them happy by giving them the support they need, all right? That's awesome. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a special thank you. I'd like to thank uh, the set designer, Dan Schmidt, the light designer, Doug McCurr. Costumes by Rebecca Wells. I'd like to thank the sound by Mike Skinner. Our props person by Caleb Warner. Our TD by Mike Haplin. Our stage manager, Ariana Harris. Our assistant director, Artemis Wheeler. I'd like to thank Southern Connecticut State University for all their participation in this. I'd like to thank Oddfellas Playhouse for letting us do this and giving us the, the venue and, and everything we need for this. Uh, I'd like to thank all of our interns for all the help they've done. And last but not least, I'd like to thank Dick Wheeler for everything they've done as well. All right? So, so that being stated, thank you, and let the show begin. Throwing the enemy, but they scatter swiftly on the rival 
fellow soul. Now, why were you late coming to your post again this morning? I was beginning to lose hope that no one would ever come here this way. But one will come someday, and it's your job to track him. In fact, a child of Adam and Eve may come along even today. There's a sense of human in the air. And remember, if he comes and you let him escape, you know what he will do. Turn me into a stone statue. At the very least. Now, I must go check on the other sentinels. Maintain your post. Yes, sir. Please, sir. How did I even get myself fixed into this fix? <laughs> My father would be very disappointed in me. Oh well, if a human never comes this way, I might get lucky. But if one does, I can take you to the queen. How on, would that be so wrong? But I know, um, but I'm so perplexed as usual, and I never know what to do, except the only thing I do when I'm perplexed, play my fight. <laughs> Listen, if 
I'll turn you into a white witch. She'll cut off my hair, saw off my horns, and worse, she'll turn me into a stone statue with a magic wand. Uh, maybe she won't come always here. Will you please let me go home? Of course I will. I never knew what a dollar of you was like until now. Without that I know you, I can't turn you over the white witch. I'll escort you back to the lamppost where you can find your way back to Sparrow. Thank you, thank you. But we must go as far as we can. The woods are now full of her spies. Can you ever forget what I was meant to do? Of course, and I hope you won't get into any dreadful trouble on my account. Oh, farewell, Dr. Eve. May I keep a handkerchief there as a body of our pleasant visit? Certainly. I hope none of the spies saw me. From now on, I am going to turn over a new leaf. I hope they are so much better. Come
you must have something along with you. What's your favorite treat? Well, that's easy. Turkish delight. Then Turkish delight it shall be. It's delicious. It's the best Turkish delight I've ever tasted. May I have more? Of course. Back at my castle. I have rooms filled with Turkish delight. Rooms, like filled to the brim. <laughs> That's right now. First, you must bring your brothers and sisters. I can bring them another time. Now, Edmund, you must bring your brothers and sisters to my castle. It's between these two hills. You can't miss it. You'll smell the Turkish delight all the way. Now, come along. We must prepare for our esteemed guests. Oh, and Edmund, don't tell your brothers and sisters about me just yet. I want them to be surprised when they see me. Uh, let's keep this visit our little secrets. Don't spill the whip on the reindeer, dwarf. We have much to do in short time. <laughs> Turkish delight? Rooms filled with it? Yes, I would bring Peter, Lucy, and Susan to queen. Gosh, told me she was queen. I might have mistaken her as a witch. I can't seem to find Mr. Thomas anywhere. Perhaps we should go get Peter and Susan for help. Really? I think I think you'd like it here. Well, maybe this place deserves a second chance after all. Especially the large castle between the two hills. Very well then. We'll go get Peter and Susan. And this time, let's get some books in the wardrobe. It's cold here. Like I told you, it's all the witches' fault. Go on, Lucy. There's no such thing as a witch here in Narnia. <laughs> Queen of Narnia. Signed, Fenris Wolf, 
Captain of the Secret Police, long live the Queen. Oh no, oh no, no, oh no! Who is this Queen Lou? She isn't a queen at all! She's a horrible witch who has magic suits always went to her Narnia, like I explained for like the past two times, <laughs> but never Christmas. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem safe here. What about just going home? But we need to see it if Mr. Tumnus is okay. I think Lou is right. Very well, but this place worries me. Well, where do we look first? I think we look for something to eat. Oh, you're always thinking about your stomach. You're always thinking about your hair and your clothes and how you look. Well, if I looked like you. Please, you two, stop acting like brothers. I just wish I knew where Mr. Thomas was in prison. Perhaps we should go to the castle. Maybe he's there. Good idea. Let's go. It might be warmer there. Let's go. What was that? Nothing, scared cat. Let's go. Uh, Who's there? Are, are you the sons of Adam and his daughter's bees? For some of them. Come on, quickly, let's get you safe. What do you mean? I mean, like, let's get you safely to Aslan. Who's Aslan? Our king. Your king? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, he's our king. The name of the people is more like, like summer. The name sounds like a delightful strain of music to me. Hey, bad thing looks so mysterious horror. Ed, what is wrong with you? You're acting so strangely. How are we supposed to act in a strange place? I say we go to the castle. I say we go with Mr. Beaver. I too, and I. Three against one, Ed, come on. Either way, the witch is going to come Wait, in. Wait, there is a difference. Back up, both of you. 
you said. And that's what I said. And elves aren't bad, if I'm not mistaken. You're not mistaken. He's mistaken. You're Lucy. And you're clever. Very clever. I know. <laughs> and if you know my name, that means you know everyone's name. Which means you travel with the one that knows everybody's name. Name him. Spirit of Christmas! Christmas! Oh my god! We're getting presents? Yes! yes! <laughs> brother. Play no magical trick. 
The magic she plans requires no trick. What can she possibly want? She is up to no good. I can tell. Oh, Burr, I can feel a chill in her presence already. There she is. You've got a traitor there, Aslan. His offense is not against you. Have you forgotten the deep magic? Tell me of it. Tell you? Tell you what is written on the various table of stone that sits beside us? You know that for every treachery and every traitor belongs to me, and I have the right to kill. What? Is it true, Aslan? It can't be true. Therefore, that human traitor's blood is my property. How many think of that? Peace. You fool, did you think by trying to take away my rights by mere force would work? Your master knows what is written on that stone table. He knows that if, Nar if the rules are not obeyed, that all of Narnia will perish in fire and water. What? It is true. I do not deny it. What? Oh, Aslan, can we just learn about the deep magic? Is there something you can work against it? Not against the Emperor's magic, no. <coughs> but I will talk to the witch. You mean the queen? Shut up! Help! Peace, peace, fall back, all of you, good one. <laughs> there has to be something we can do with these ads, but we always find some solution. Oh my god, this is Spence is killing me. When are they going to be done? What are you talking about? The queen has renounced claims on your brother's blood. Edmund is free. Yes! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 One last thing. How did I know your promise will be kept? You know that when Allison makes a promise, it will be kept. <laughs> Aslan, what does she mean? What promise did you make to her? Do not be concerned for that. Now all of you must leave here at once. You go to the fields of Baruna. There, you shall camp tonight. You're not going with us? N no, I am needed here. What? Peter, the witch has business in these parts. When she is done, all of you must be prepared for anything. Perhaps even a battle of life or death. <gasps> okay, but but when that happens, you'll be there with us, right? I can give no promise of that. What? Now, now all of you, leave here at once. Why do you need to be here for the wicked business? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's too tight. I 
pretty strong. I think the lightning hit something around here. I heard a terrible crack. I, I wish that terrible crack hit this dang bear. No, 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 what if the witch is there? She sees you. I don't care. She plans to kill us all anyway. Wait, but where's Mr. Tumnus? You said that he was going to be here. 
I remember him being seeing him be resurrected. <laughs> yeah, me too. Ah, they're not careful about Stick uh, it They're here. Mr. Turpin! I'm not giving you a hug because you were on your Acquire these crowns. I, first of all, I ran to Camp Hemel as fast as my hooves could carry me. Because they were, that was where they were actually there. But I suspect that they would be needed here after all. And I suspect that you just wanted to avoid the battle with the witch. What good would have fought me in a fight? I am known as Thomas the, the Trembler, <laughs> not the Terrible. <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. No matter your reasons, you are to be commended, Thomas. And now, let the coronation celebration begin. King Peter. King, King Peter. Queen Susan. Queen Susan. King Edmund. King Edmund. Queen Lucy. Queen Lucy. Long live the kings and queens of Narnia. And now, let us all repair to Cara Paraba. It has been dark and dusty for much too long. Aslan, will you not be there as well? I, I, I have many other things I need to attend to. Okay, so is no one going to take the knife from the literal tiles? That's a good oh, point. Have that <laughs> okay, who gave I the knife? I care! <laughs> who gave the children a knife? <laughs> The children will rule for a long while. The time will come when they are needed back at home. The lamppost shall be their guide.
For good people need good rulers, and good rulers need good people. And that, perhaps, is the deepest magic.